okay. I tried to go live before, but we kept getting disconnected. So I'll, I'll upload this later on. But this is our big pasture. This section of it is approximately six acres. And our property manager had a friend that was looking for hay. So we told him that he could come and cut it and mow it. It's all Timothy hay. And we got 16 bales out of just this section. And our property goes to the top of the bump in the middle of your screen. We have 70 acres, about 50 of it is forest. These are, these are the big bales of hay we got. You are looking at the north face of Phoenix Mountain in Lansing, North Carolina, Ash County. As I said, this is Lansing in Ash County, North Carolina, the very northwest corner of the state. We are 20 minutes from Virginia, 20 minutes from Tennessee. And you're looking at the north face of Phoenix Mountain, or as it's known locally, Phoenix. You're looking at approximately six acres of pasture land. And the property goes up to the top of the bump in the middle of your screen. And we have, it's about 50 acres that's wooded. This is secondary pasture land that we just started clearing a few years ago. I have a DR mower that I tow behind my gator that we happen to be in right now and uh, it'll cut through things up to three inches thick as far as tree trunks so we have this little island here in the middle that needs to be done yet and I can take you for a ride now down to our lower meadow and you will get to see some beautiful rock outcroppings section here is about, uh, I guess, two acres or so. is the live video that I just posted our upper wildflower meadow this is our lower wildflower meadow again I mow it once a year just to cut down all the dead stuff and any any saplings to keep it pasture land and I deliberately spread the milkweed pods so that the monarch butterflies have Good habitat. There are tons of wonderful deer trails all over. My dog Rosie is very excited behind me because we've come through here and found deer in this meadow. Don't see any right now. The gator probably scared them away. This is quite high. Apparently, maybe 50 years or so ago, they used to grow strawberries throughout this meadow. This is all Timothy hay, it looks like, that went to seed. And now we're 
going into a dark, dark corner. This is one of the corner markers of our property. And there is a brand new stream that we've discovered, a spring rather, that we've discovered here. We're trying to find the head. And if it produces enough, we might put a cabin down here. I do see water. You probably won't be able to see it because it's shadowed, but the, the spring is down in that hole. And this is our fence line. One of them. Most of the property has fencing around it in all sorts of different forms. We've got bob wire, we've got panels, we've got ancient rock wall. Someone tore down our posted sign. But we have these walls all over and we actually have them high up on the mountain too. The stone wall marks the border. Bit of a bump here, guys. And here are huge boulders. And just on the other side of these boulders, if you notice, it looks kind of bright there. And that's because it's a cliff. huge cliff right here. And you can start seeing the clearing down there, how steep it is. This used to be a Christmas tree farm, so you're going to see Christmas trees all over the place. Oh, yeah, we have tons and tons of dead, overgrown Christmas trees everywhere. Another big drop off here. Another dead tree, Christmas tree. down you want to 
a nice view right here. Get to it. Clearing. We were just way down at the bottom there. than my house. There's hubby just clearing, clearing a tree. I gotta tell you, the smell here is just mind-boggling. It's so nice. this picture a lot on Facebook but this is what we call our backyard and I think it's a pretty epic backyard if you ask me we'll listen to the birds for a little while
the color at this time of day is just so incredible. I can't explain. The gold and the green is just explosive. A little bit of a thunderstorm rumbling probably on the south south side of the mountain. That's usually where they end up going. Sorry I'm shaking guys. Pretty epic. came to the very top of our pasture and we have a thunderstorm coming in you can hear the thunder rumbling and I'm not sure how good the camera is picking this up but directly over there is Tennessee and the mountaintops up there are Virginia. It's very unusual. We've got some gnats bothering, bothering us. So if you see my hand go, wee, that's because I'm trying to shake a bug off. Beautiful, beautiful thunderheads. Love to see some lightning.
we don't normally have gnats, but it's been so rainy that uh, they seem to be swarming. Very annoying. Uh, the thunderheads are rolling in pretty quick. We don't, we're starting to lose sight of some of the mountains. I mean, the sky is still blue there, but over there in Tennessee and the corner of Virginia, we got ourselves a thunder boomer. But the color is so awesome right now, I think because of the, the clouds. Sometimes when you get a really bad thunderstorm, the sky and whitish things can look neon green. There's Sanjay over there on the corner. Hear the thunder? Love to see some lightning show up. That would be awesome. These gnats are getting really obnoxious. All right, I'm going to end this one and uh, get out of here. They will be if we stop. Just want to show you that we do live in bear country. They have this, there was about 10 birch trees here. And they have killed them all. And those are bear claw on there. There's more up there. That's about standard black bear height um, on their rear legs. But there's lots of claw moths on it. And they've attacked all of these get to the bugs that are inside. These bales of hay are about the size of our gator. Height of the gator. The height, and might take two of them to cover the whole length of it. This is going down to our barn, and I'm probably going to go quite fast through here. Oh, by the way, these are all wild blackberry, blueberry, uh, raspberry, black raspberry, and wineberry bushes in here. We call this a stoneument. It's like a, a monument out of huge boulders. It's, it's filled with huge, huge boulders. So we can't really clear it out. It's just like a big boulder field. We're going to go kind of fast through here because we have a very large and very active wild beehive in the wall of our barn and um, had a friend come by with a beehive hoping to catch a swarm but this thing is massive if you can look where's my finger that brown line right there at the top of my finger that is the entrance to their hive and they've been here for almost year and a half, two years now. So they're very active, they're very healthy. This is our front yard.
stream. It runs 2,200 feet long all the way up to the top of our property. And it's the only stream that runs full year. Although it's kind of low right now. But, and here's our bridge. And that's about it. Well, I'll start this when we head back up. Hi everyone, it's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd be grateful if you'd please give me a thumbs up and a kind comment down below. Please share my channel with your friends and on your social media and please subscribe. When you subscribe, please click the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for helping grow my channel. So long now!